trying to diet, you mad sly, you can't try and diet. Right, okay, on the attack here, you've got a mixture here, I've got some more poleaxes, a lot of malls on the attack. On the defense, they still went with the massive poleax side of things here for the guys of Divinity. Different mixes here, you of units. No Sally out, no calf really. A couple of units of calf racks getting used, and a couple of armor gears on it. The defense, similar, a couple of jab calves for the, the guys on the attack. We'll wait and see what happens here. This is Wild Blood, Game 2 versus Divinity. In round two, season two of CB Rivals. Hit your predictions in, guys. we got one minute left of predictions as well. Who's going to go on to win it? So far, predictions looking like they are going in the way of Wild Blood. Almost at 100% there until that last vote in there went in um, towards Divinity. But it is 95% in favour of Wild Blood after their solid, solid defence of the first round. We'll wait and see where they go from here <coughs> so is there going to be a defense on a is the units going to be up here going to be worthwhile putting some gray units up or they decided against it no that was actually ipgs and fort abrasio but they decide against it they don't defend a they don't defend b some of these Scorpios actually getting over the wall, trying to deal some damage to units, having a like the Scorpio is a great way to use as a way of scanning and spamming it out just to see what is over there because you could follow that Scorpio ball all the way over the wall to exactly where it's going, see where it's landing, see where the units are, see where any of the enemy heroes are, so you know whether you can go or not to attack. Well, but going to get a free A and B by the looks of it. Some nice ASMR pizza sounds right here. <laughs> the ASMR pizza is the way forward. We love a bit of pizza. Like I say, it's coffee. I'm a skinny boy that eats a lot of pizza. Okay, leave me alone. Pizza my favorite. Pizza and pasta is my favorite. And they're both fattening. And I love it. Much better than all this healthy stuff. Actually, Divinity have got 62% of the prediction here with it just about to end. So you guys are actually in favour of the defence here from Divinity because of how it went there. Somebody's put 4k on it. That is an interesting, interesting bet there. Who has gone and done that? Frack has decided I am betting against the last one winners. He does, he's going against our alliance members of Wild Blood. To go for Divinity. We're getting A and B captured here for free. Well, Blood. Going to have to make their way. You've got a defense set up here of Iron Reapers and Grey Hairs on the wall. In case any units come up onto the wall. You've got Fortabrasio, Grey Hairs, IPGs and some ISGs. On the little death box in the corner. And they also have units all around at the supply point ready for anything that might come around. They're watching the back entrance here of the supply point and the guys from Well Blood will just get all their units set up ready for a finding a way and a push into here. We've noticed how strong it is to defend this point. It's a lot easier. Big man mark out here. <laughs> Yo Dale. You don't see a Gary Takari. You don't see Gary Takari. Right, let's go. Let's have a look. -y. Oh my god, that camera angle. What the hell was that, Marky? What are you doing? Let's go, let's go, let's go. What are we going to do? What is Wellblood's opportunities here? They've got some heroes up onto the wall. Units are watching them. The Jav Cavs is going to deal some damage here because they're just sitting there firing the units up on top because they're not paying attention. They've set a treb there and the units, if they start moving forward, will get treb by that. But I doubt they're going to use the units towards the heroes that are on the wall. The treb comes in way. Will it deal any damage to that heroes? Walking gets out of the way of it. No, it doesn't do any damage. Well, blood start to make their way through with the Jav Cav. Using the Jav Cav to whittle down the defensive structure here. They're rotating it back and forward, just dealing damage to that little death box that's in the corner here. It's a very good, interesting strategy and, a very, and it will work in their favour. Very, very good opportunity, very good position. And look at that, whittling and down them for Abrasio. They've got to move them back a little bit out of harm's way. And Wellblood are just set up here. They've got Fort Abrasio watching the back enters here so nobody can flank them. They also have the Fort Abrasio in the back here as well. 
ready for any counter pushes that might be made from Divinity. Divinity have got all their units set up in the gateway as well, ready to push. They've got Falconettis up on the top wall here. They were away to get Treb, but they managed to move the Treb in. Actually, a perfect position to avoid that Treb. Dealing some damage to the units that are pushing forward here if they try to take out the infantry units down below of the grey hairs potential the guys start to move from well blood though they're making their way in top as you can see heroes dealing some damage up here trying to take out the fort of Brasho. the heroes of well blood are all making way to try and find a treb and the treb comes in knocks the ipgs back a little bit the push is coming in but they're only slowly moving themselves in well blood they've got ipgs coming in now Siladar's coming in to try and deal with the rest of the units here it's all isgs the units are all going to fall for a brash you're all set up and here comes the cab the cavalry will come in from Wellblood, IPGs and ISGs aren't ready for it. It charges right through the units of shields. Lots of cav coming through the center. The trebs are coming in as IPGs are trying to be getting in the way here. But all these units are getting wiped on the point. The heroes are dying really, really quickly. We're down to nine heroes alive on the point here for Divinity. But most of them are all way back in the supply point or in the gateway here. The Falconet is on the top wall trying to do some work, but heroes are having to jump off the wall and commit to their lives because otherwise they're going to lose this home point really, really quickly here with the guys from Wellblood with a solid attack there. Frack, you're going to lose all your points the way things are going here. Heroes are down to seven. Twelve heroes on the def on the attack alive. Still got the defensive organization here. You're done in the backs coming back around. You've got a unit of cavalry coming up, but they got stunned by you're done. Cataphracts go in, but they'll run right into the Fort of Ratio and get wiped here as they did. The Trebs still able to come in with more Cav coming from the defensive side. Cav versus Cav fighting on the home point here. Lots of Cav now coming in from Divinity, and that's where it's going to start pushing the heroes of Wellblood off because it's all cavalry and Cataphracts running through the units that are making their way in. As you can see, Atomic's going to lose a lot of his ISGs here because the Cav, and they weren't ready, the Cav just des destroys them there pretty much. Wipes out the ISGs. There's only a couple, a handful of ISGs left, but the Wellblood guys are going to have to recuperate really quickly because that was a good push off here from Divinity. Did a very good job there. Wiped the units and heroes, and that was a wee quad kill there as well from Gayubi. We are doing well in terms of units and numbers. It's pretty even still. Still got nine trebs available and ready to go on and take this point here. Well, they're going to have to rearrange themselves and get themselves set up for the next attack here by walking with a brittle and broken achievement here as well. Gayubi picked up Kavras. Was the last few fights in there as the musket player, but yeah, well, blood have to pay attention now. They have to try and focus as well. There's no now no longer a death box there. They've got Fortabrasio on the corner here. They've got IPGs down below here from Divinity, and they're all starting to move their units into that little death box corner again. Now that the IPGs are in position, the Fortabrasio are getting into that position here. You've got Grey Hair sitting up on the right hand side, and Palace Guards getting set up here too. Well, Blood, where have they got their units set up? As you can see, Divinity have got units around ready to look for a little flank if needed. But Well, Blood start to make their way forward onto the point. They're starting to get their units of Javcav doing the work that they did previously. They're dealing the damage to the Fort Abrasio in the corner and the IPGs with their Javcav. The IPG march comes in here from Well, Blood. There's nothing they're really marching towards, so they have to back out of that one. There's nothing that was coming in their direction. Now they can start thinking about using Trebs here. Javcav dealing damage to the Senjis that are off onto the right-hand side of the supply point here. And a Treb comes in. This Treb, if no, if Wellblood start to make their way forward now, they can't move that unit there. And that Treb can do a lot of damage here on top of the Fort Abrasio. Are they going to move them before the Treb comes in? The Trebs, oh, a lot of the Trebs actually miss that point. It's a very good position to be in that doesn't deal damage. IPG marches are going, but they miss the majority of the units here as Wellblood get in and around the back. They've got IPGs countering their IPGs and now a well blood are pushing it's 15 versus 14 the treb comes in towards the supply point side where the heroes are start coming out with their units of defense the cavalry unit comes in as the treb comes in here trying to deal some damage well blood with a hero advantage here we're down to 11 on the defense 14 on the attack units it's pretty even still pretty even but we're starting to move and get a gain in point here from Wellblood they've b blocked off the flank here with their Fort Abrasio they've still got Cav coming in here from Wellblood they've got a calf capped point here and seven heroes against 14 they've got the advantage number wise they've got the hero 
counts and the units on the point ready to defend this for all their life now they're going to cap this point here it looks like Wellblood have this one in the bag only one hero Jabba stopping that cap but he's only got a couple of seconds he dies and all of a sudden before we know it Wellblood pick up the win Gayubi once again MVP with his musket six hero kills 59 unit kills and um, down the list here as well you've got Atomic Tressy with three hero kills you've got a couple of heroes on two hero kills not very many uh, assists here for the team, but they still go on to win it. Defend unit wise, still not that many unit killed either. So it was quite a quick fight, quite a quick battle. But works in their favour. Well, but defended strongly, and they also go on to win the battle very quickly. Done a great job to block off the, the, the amount of people in, and it worked out. It worked out so well for them. That is fantastic effort. Ruger, top MVP here for the defensive side. 66, uh, 76 unit kills, and only one hero kills. But the unit hero kills. Big difference here when you look at the post analysis. We are almost doubled up. Well, they have doubled up the unit hero kills. Unit kills not a big massive difference. Only a hundred and fifty odd unit kills more. But we still go on to win it. Wait, divinity survived. Nice, nice. They survived once. They didn't survive the second time round though. But.